excited or are you just uh, get it going again? Uh, I'm really excited. You know, it's my senior year. Um, it went by really fast. And uh, this summer just flew by faster than anything. Um, I'm, I'm just excited to get back on the field. I mean, spring flew by, and, you know, this could be my la last time playing football. So hopefully go out with a bang and, and do something big here. You guys have a big group of fifth-year seniors on this team, even when you count all the walk-ons and scholarship guys. What, what kind of an advantage is that going forward here into the season? I think it creates a lot of depth and competition. Um, a lot of those walk-ons are really good football players, and, and a lot of them can play, you know, not, not only, you know, first string positions on the offense and defense, but I think they're really important to special teams. Um, so having a, a team of that size really creates, you know, depth and let alone a good uh, scout team to practice against. I mean, for the past couple of years, we've had some really good players play scout team. I mean, Kenny Bell is on scout team. Um, you know, there's some good walk-ons on scout team. It, it, that really helps out during the week when you can play against good players like that. <laughs> I think it's really good. Um, towards the end of last year, we were only rotating about five people throughout the whole D-line, so it was, it was kind of hard on us. Um, even sometimes I would rotate inside or vice versa. Um, so I think this year everyone's pretty healthy. And uh, during the spring, it get, there was an opportunity for a lot of those other guys who haven't played a bunch to, to kind of get a lot of reps with the ones uh, during spring football. And uh, this year, you know, Coach Kaz was talking the other day about how there's – you know, if there's nine guys that can play football here, and he's going to rotate nine guys. But if there's only four, he's only going to play four. It's whoever he trusts. So, um, but I think, you know, everyone, pretty, for the most part, everyone on the D-line could play here. So I think we have a really good depth, and I think we have a lot of good players. What's your, what's your role inside that room as a senior? You seem like you're sometimes kind of a quiet guy. Is it, does being a vocal guy come easily to you? Or, you know, I mean, it just it comes when it comes. I think if I need to say something before something happens, I'll, I'll, I'll speak up. But um, I think for the most part, a lot of the guys, you know, respect me for being a fifth-year senior, not only, but uh, I just think they listen to me, you know, was, uh, you know not, not to sound cocky or anything, but I think a lot of guys respect me. So uh, I have a position to teach them, whether football, off the field, whatever, whatever I'll give them advice. So, um, I, you know, and they know that. They know they can come up to me for anything. So, uh, you know, and I've done it before, so. I think they have confidence. How do you feel about that other end spot, uh, Jason, Eric, maybe? You know, I think all of us are going to play. I mean, like I said earlier, Coach Cavs is going to rotate whoever could play, and there's a lot of guys who can play right now. And uh, in, my, in my mind, there's really no starter. Um, we have a lot of really good defensive linemen, and, and, uh, especially defensive ends. I mean, even Joe Carter will get in the mix. You know, m maybe some of the freshmen can play. I mean, these freshmen are pretty big, uh, bigger than me, so... We'll see. What has Kaz taught you differently? I mean, you've worked under Carl and JP. I mean, what different things maybe he brought to the table to kind of refine your skills here for your senior season? You know, uh, Coach Kaz's main philosophy on the D-line is just to attack. And uh, I think that makes a difference, you know, when going against an offense, when you're attacking the offensive lineman. It helps in the run game, helps in the pass game. And uh, rather than, you know, reacting, we're attacking. Um, so I think that's – that's a really big emphasis of his as well as ours. And then in the past game, it's all about getting vertical, uh, getting those offensive linemen to kick back or, or getting them out of position, turning their hips. So, uh, you know, we've worked on it, and it's, it's become more important to us. And I think all summer we worked on getting vertical and attacking. And uh, I think it's really going to help us out in this, this fall camp. And September 1st, we'll see how it is. You know, it, it, it's not much change. You know, it's just still the same defense, but JP just brings a different aspect to it. You know, I think JP is a lot really energetic. Um, I think he really connects with the players. I'm not saying that Carl didn't, but you know, JP is really fired up to be the defensive coordinator, and he's really excited about this year. And uh, you know, we're excited about it too. And um, we know what JP could do, um, so we're, we're really excited about him. I asked Taylor this: um, How much are you looking forward to that trip out to the Rose Bowl in September? Yeah, it's going to be fun. I, I got over like 100 people going to the game. Uh, I got friends, family, teachers, coaches, um, and, and you know a lot of them. You know, they, a lot of them couldn't go to San Diego when we played in the Rose Bowl because, I mean, they didn't they didn't have too much notice. You know, that we were playing in that bowl game. Uh, but this year, they've had two years in advance to know, and uh, they've already made plans to take work off or days off or whatever. So um, it's going to be fun. You know, being in there. I know two kids on the UCLA team personally. 
uh, went to my high school. And it's going to be fun competing against them and, and being in my, you know, home environment. So uh, I'm excited to go out there. So is Kaz's philosophy different than what you've been doing? I mean, is it more of a pin your ears back than forcing it in, inside? You know, it's, 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 same, it's like the same philosophy but just different tools to use. I mean, he teaches, you know, a, a lot of similar stuff but just does it a little bit differently. Um, so it's stuff we're familiar with. But he just tweaks it a little bit, and I think it's helped out a lot. Do you think that's more of a benefit to have so many different coaching philosophies at so many different levels, or has maybe got stinted or stunted the growth? No, definitely. I mean, I still use stuff that we, you know JP taught us, and then um, you know Coach Kaz just brings another aspect to the table, and obviously he's our coach now, so we listen to what he says. Um, but he does he puts a lot of time into researching in NFL films, other college football films, you know. Um, and he, he goes to camps, you know, just like any other coach, and he really pays attention. I think he really takes it really seriously, and uh, he, he teaches us a lot of stuff that really helped in the spring, um, just little little details. Cameron, how do you feel about practicing at night? You know, I, I think it's I, – I don't mind it. Um, practice is practice regardless, whether it's the morning or night. Um, but I think it will help out. It will be a little bit cooler out. The sun will be down. Um, I think that will help with hydration as well as cramps and whatnot because it's, it's going to be pretty hot. I mean, it's been pretty hot lately. So would you rather do 6.45 at night or 6.45 in the morning? You can do it. Night for sure, yeah. I, I don't wake up that early. Anything else for Cam? Cool.